All right, tonight's first video is about translational equilibrium. And I expect this to be really easy for everybody because translational equilibrium follows the same rules as static equilibrium. So those problems we've been doing the last two days, same rules apply to translational equilibrium. You just have to know it applies to these situations too. So follow the same rules as static. Equilibrium. Alright, here are those rules. When an object is moving at a constant speed, so this is the difference before it was when an object is not moving, is stationary. When an object is moving at a constant speed, the forces acting on it are balanced. And here, translational means moving at a constant speed, so that's what that word means. Just like when an object is stationary, forces are balanced. If an object moves at constant speed, forces are balanced. That's from Newton's first law. No net force, constant velocity, no acceleration. Remember that from a few days ago? So to review from static equilibrium, if you have translational equilibrium or a constant speed, up forces equal down forces, left forces equal right forces. So if we assume these parachuters at the right here are moving downward at a constant speed, that means their up forces equal their down forces and their left equal their right. So that means that whatever their air resistance force is, the weight is equal to it. In that case, they don't accelerate up or down. They continue to fall with a constant speed. And that's translational equilibrium. I have an example next. It'll be super simple. Example. A 700 Newton rock climber is hanging by a rope. What is the tension in the rope if the climber is A, at rest, B, climbing up the rope at 3 meters per second, and C, being lowered at 5 meters per second. Okay, so let's consider the situation. The climber is hanging by a rope. What is his tension if he's at rest? Well, if he's at rest, that's static equilibrium. So at rest would be static for part A. It already tells us that his weight is 700 newtons, so let's divide up the forces just like we've done before. Force up equals force down. And I'm going to go ahead and take it for granted that there are no left and right forces on this climber. The only thing it talks about it is his weight and the rope. So there's the rope and there's his weight. Alright, the up force is the tension from that rope. All ropes create a tension when pulled. And the down force is his weight. Okay, um, his weight is given by mass times gravity, mg. Oh, but you know what? The problem already gave me his weight, so I don't even have to calculate it. Therefore, his weight is 700 newtons. And since the tension is equal to Fg, tension equals 700 newtons. So it's going tension equals Fg, Fg equals 700 newtons. Therefore, tension equals 700 newtons. Okay, that was part A. Now let's look at part B. Climbing the rope at 3 meters per second. Oh, now wait. 3 meters per second would be a velocity, or speed, and it says he's doing it at that speed, not speeding up, not slowing down. So that means his speed is constant, and that means translational equilibrium. Constant speed, translational equilibrium. And just like in static equilibrium, in translational, up forces equal down forces, and left equals right, but there are no left and right, there's only the tension up and his weight down. Okay, so tension is the up force, weight is the down force, we know his weight is 700 newtons, we know therefore his tension, or the tension in the rope, is 700 newtons. Wait, I've seen this answer before. Oh my goodness, it's the same as for static equilibrium. Like I said, translational and static equilibrium follow the same rules and, in fact, arrive at the same answers. Translational is just moving at a constant speed, where static, your speed is zero. Let's try C. Being lowered at 5 meters per second. Okay. Up forces equal down. Tension is up. Weight is down. Oh my goodness, I've seen this before. Weight was 700 newtons, therefore tension is 700 newtons. Hmm, how interesting. 
or as Cartman from South Park would say, how interesting and relevant. Alright, that's it for the first video.